I love the Peace River country in northern Alberta. When I was touring with my first band, we spent two summers up there playing music in all the little towns. In the town of Peace River, I first heard of a character known as Twelve Foot Davis. They have a statue in honor of him, so I went to see it. I naturally imagined a man of enormous stature, something like a Canadian Paul Bunyan. Henry Fuller Davis wasn't even a big man. He came to be a legend in the peace country in quite another way. Davis was born in 1820 in Vermont. In 1849, he headed out to California, one of the original 49ers in the gold rush of that area. He didn't do well in California, so when he heard of the wonderful riches being found in the caribou gold fields, he headed north. Well, too bad for him. By the time he got there, all the prime gold-bearing land had been staked out. On one small tributary of Williams Creek, named Willow Creek, two miners were doing well on two adjacent claims. Now, by law, a single claim could be only 100 feet of creek frontage. Davis could neither read nor write, but he had a good eye for distance, and it seemed to him that these two claims came to more than that. He went out in the middle of the night and measured them, finding that they came to exactly 212 feet. The next day, he went to the gold commissioner and asked for a legal resurveying of the two claims on Willow Creek. He was proven right, and he immediately filed a claim on the 12-foot strip between the two others. From this 12-foot claim, Henry Davis pulled out between 20 and $30,000. In today's money, that would equal more than three quarters of a million. He took his money, headed to the peace country, and used his riches to establish a series of trading posts. In competition, if you please, with the Hudson's Bay Company. A pretty big man, after all. And that is how the Peace River Country gained its folk hero, 12-foot Davis. Thank mm -hmm. you.